Hi there, I'm David Butler, and I want to show you one of my favourite tools for treating peripheral nerve problems. It's Theratube. I love Theratube. Comes in different colours, comes in different strengths, and you can use it for graded exercise, but you can also use it as a very powerful multimedia educational tool to teach people about sensitivity and movement problems in peripheral nerves. And I'm grateful to my friend Anton Harms, the physio, for showing me this initially. Take the median nerve. Make yourself a loop, like this. Give yourself plenty of space, and put it around your neck. Then take the TheraTube, as long as to the end of your middle finger, and make another loop. You can then cut the end off, because you want to be neat and tidy in the clinic, of course. Now you have a model of the median nerve, if you place this on your middle finger. There are four key educational tools that you can use with this. Number one, the diameter of that when stretched is about the same size as the median nerve. So this helps people to understand that the nerve is actually a real physical object in the body. Secondly, this helps us understand that mechanical and physiological changes anywhere along the system will have repercussions for the whole system. It's a continuum. So therefore, I can fully understand or appreciate clinically how good, healthy, stable, mobile shoulder or shoulder complex would be ideal for health of the nerve at the wrist. Third point, in this position here, which is the upper limb neurodynamic test one position, focusing on the median nerve, it should be clear that if I extend the wrist and take my neck away from the test side, that there's a physical challenge along the nerve. And this can also help explain uh, problems in a person where there is a stretch or a physical activity or even a fear or an anxiety when someone is approaching this particular position. And finally, many therapists now are using the concepts of slider and tensioner as part of their neural mobilization. If you look at this position here, it becomes quite clear. In this position here, if I take my neck and laterally flex it away, and if I extend my wrist, that's tension at both ends, that's essentially a tensioner. However, if I take my neck away but bring the wrist back, that's a slider. This is a, a nice slider movement. And that can be helpful to show somebody because people mightn't think the slider isn't doing anything because it doesn't stretch. But this lovely flossing, gliding movement could be very therapeutic. And in the clinic, this particular test, after a good examination, may be appropriate for carpal tunnel syndrome, mid to lower nerve root syndromes, or problems anywhere in the distribution of the median nerve. It's not only the median nerve that you can use TheraTube for in an educational sense. If you put the TheraTube around your pinky and then at the olecranon, and now you have a good representation of the mechanics of the ulnar nerve. And patients will often be very quickly aware of this. Aha, my funny bone. But this can also help explain problems in the ulnar nerve field and its representations, which are sensitive when you are doing movements such as this. The radial nerve also can be beautifully explained using TheraTube. Wrap it around, put it on the index finger, wrap it around the spiral groove, and now you have a great replica of the radial nerve. And it should be clear that people again can see the importance of the continuum of health right along the system, of how important the rotation components are. It may well make them aware of, okay, that's why I hurt when I turn the tap on or twist in this particular position. And of course, this may well be a really good self-mobilizing exercise. And of course, you could get your patient to do this. And that would be a great example of using multimedia to reinforce what is going on and what they need to do about the problem. I should comment too that we are well aware that these tests might be reactive for nerve problems where the nerve is sticky or doesn't slide so well, but also where the whole system is just sensitive. 
And the key point here is that these tests, these movements might be appropriate for both conditions. We explore this in much greater detail in our new mobilization of the neuroimmune system courses. You could also use this for the foot, but that's in another clip. See you soon.